All right, so one of the, the I, I got into a discussion with a friend last night, um, and one of the things that she asked that I didn't really at the moment have an answer for was, um, how do you choose a safe word? Um, I, I tried explaining it in a, in a, in a simple way. Um, I mean, first off, I, I'm, anybody who knows me, knows my videos, knows what I do, knows I am a huge advocate of safe words. I mean, if you're not using safe words when you're playing, you're really setting yourself up for danger. Um, it's, it's the car insurance of BSM world. You know, it's one of the things I think, you know, if you go to most clubs, it's mandatory. Okay. Um. When you're when you're getting into a point of choosing a safe word, um, I'm a firm advocate in that the dominant should never be the person choosing the safe word. It should always be the submissive. They're the ones who have to use it. Therefore, there should not ever be a you know there should not be a you have to use this as a safe word because. The, the chances of you forgetting the safe word if you didn't choose it are much more likely. Um, it has to be a word that you will remember. Even in the most stressful situation that somehow this word will pop into your head. Okay, I mean, yeah, you can use the color system, um, which I am a fan of the color system if people don't know, uh, red, yellow, um, you know, red, yellow, and green. Green meaning, it's fine, keep going. Yellow meaning, I'm kind of getting to my tolerance. Red meaning, please stop. And the safe word being the ultimate, you know, shit's gone wrong, stop, kind of thing. But the two things that, that are, that when you're, when you're picking a safe word are always true. Number one, it can't be a word that you would use in a normal sentence. Okay? You know, please, you know, you know, daddy, you know, things that, words that, that, you know, you would use in a normal sentence. I mean, stop, you know, stop to me should not ever be a safe word. Um, even though some people do because, you know, a lot of times when you're playing, um, stop is said a lot. You know, please don't, stop, stop, don't, please don't. And you're not actually meaning stop, you're just, you know, it's part of the part of the play. But if you use stop as that safe word, then you're right into that alley of, okay, you, you wanted me to stop. No, no, I didn't want you to stop, I just, you know, that's just what I was saying. Well, that's why safe words need to be words that you choose that are not common words. Um, banana, unicorn you know, monkey, you know, words that, you know, you know, but, you know, words that you're, you're not necessarily just going to blurt out in a normal sentence. You know, how many times have you, you know, you, you know, been in the middle of a play and ha found a use for unicorn in the middle of, you know, of a sentence? Okay. How many times have you been playing and, you know, found the word banana to be useful and, you know, in in, a, in the conversation, they don't happen. So my primary thing is is that you know create when you're when you're doing it. First off, use safe word. Second, when you're using safe word, choose a word that you're gonna you're gonna be able to remember under the rest. And third, make sure your partner knows that word clearly. Okay, there should be no ambiguity of you know oh I didn't know you that was your safe word. So. That's it for now. Be well and safe.